Hey everybody, this is Games Plus James, and welcome back to the final part of our Rhythm Tutorial series. Now we've got the core gameplay of our little game going here. Um, I also have set up uh, some more arrows for our little game, uh, just to get a complete like little bit of a playthrough of it all as we go. So we have a little bit more music to demonstrate what's going on here. Uh, but otherwise, we're pretty happy with everything we have. So, the next thing we need to do is show results to our players so they know that something is happening and that they did well or did badly or how well they got on, basically. So to do that, we're going to add a couple of little things to our Game Manager script, first of all. So we'll go into our Game Manager script. We're going to open it up here. And up the top, we're going to add a few new floats. So we're going to add public float total notes because we want to know how many potential notes people could hit that, that that way we can work out what percentage of hits they did good and bad and stuff like that uh, we'll have a, so we'll have total notes we'll also have a public float if I could type public float uh, normal hits public float good hits public float perfect hits and public float missed hits so we're just going to add a way for ourselves at the moment to keep track of all these so the very first thing we need to do is work out how many total notes there are in the scene and there's a very easy way to do that because all our notes as we know have the note uh, object script attached to them so we can switch back into here and we can then say in our start loop we can say okay how many total notes are there well we can just find all the objects in the scene that have the note object script attached to them at the start and just work out how many of them of them there are so we can just say total notes equals find objects of type so you need to make sure we have the s in here because there's also find object of type which will only find one but we want to find all the objects find objects of type and the type we want to find is note object which is our note object script and then we'll get the length of that oh i paged up there uh, we'll get the length of that so the length will be however many objects there are in the scene okay so that's fine um <clears throat> then we need to start keeping track of what what how many hits we're getting as we go through the game so for that we already have functions set up for when we get a normal hit a good hit etc so what we'll do is whenever we get one of these hits we'll just say well normal hit let's say normal oops normal hits plus plus so we're just adding one onto the normal hits amount that we have currently so then good hits will be good hits plus plus perfect hits will be perfect hits plus plus and then finally for note missed we'll have missed hits plus plus okay so let's test this out let's see this in action we'll save this we'll jump back over into unity if it'll let me there we go it took a second to open up uh, and then on our game manager where are we here game manager we see we now have these slots here now obviously these aren't something you'd really want to be changing so really we should make them private variables it's just easier for us to see what's going on here by making them public like this okay so when we start the game before the music starts playing or anything we see okay i've got 60 total notes in my little stream here so if i start playing it in a second so if we start it going you see it's adding up notes over here see we're missing some notes let's see if i can start getting some perfect ones maybe there we go we got a perfect so it's keeping track of all our notes for us just the way we want it to so that's great that's exactly what we want to do we know that we're keeping track of that in our system now so the next thing we need to do is show that to our player and for that we're going to need a little bit of a results screen so rather than wasting our time just sitting here watching me do it i've already set one up so under the canvas i have a little results panel i just walk through what is set up in here so we've got we got a few different sections here so we've got normal notes that tell us how many normal notes we hit how many good notes we hit how many perfect notes we hit 
how many missed notes we hit. Then we'll have this one here for percentage, so that'll be how many notes out of the whole total we actually managed to hit. Then we'll calculate a rank based on how well we did, and we'll show the final score to the player. So uh, each of these bits of text are their own individual objects so that we can line them all up nicely. So for example, we've got the the normal hits label here and then the amount here. And, I'll, and we've color coded them to match up with the uh, level of hit. So normal hits are blue, good hits are yellow, perfect hits are red, are green, and missed hits are red. Okay, so with that in mind then, we're going to need to display this information to the player. So let's jump back into our game manager script and we're going to require some references to these elements. So the first thing we're going to need is a public game object uh, results screen. So this will be how we show the results to our player, how we make that window pop up when we get to the end of a song. Uh, and then we're going to need a few labels that we're going to use. So we're going to say public text and I'm going to save a bit of space here. We're going to create a bunch of text here. Uh, so I'm going to save a bit of space by putting them all on the same line. And I'm going to say, so first of all, we're going to have the percent hit text, then a comma. And we're going to have another one for the normals text. So that'll be the normals, we, the amount of normals we hit. Goods text, that'll be our amount of good hits. Perfects text, uh, misses text. Then we're going to have a rank text, which is what we'll use to show what rank we achieved. And then finally, we'll have the final score text, like so. Okay, so that's all fine and dandy. Uh, we'll jump back into Unity first of all, and we'll just hook them up so to make sure that they're all nicely set up for us. So let's go to our game manager. First thing is the results screen itself. So that'll be the results object here. Pop that in there. Then percent, percent hit, that's our percent hit value. Normals hit value, goods hit value, and so on. We'll just drag these in. Not too complicated at this point. Our rank and our final score. Whoop, I didn't drop it in the right place. There we go. Okay, so now we can update these when the song ends. So for that, we'll jump back in here. Here we have, we're checking if the song has started playing. So if the song hasn't started playing yet, we're waiting to press an, any, any keys down and that'll start the music playing. But the next thing we can do is say, otherwise, we know the song has started, but how can we check and see if the, mu the music has finished playing true? Well, we already have a reference to the music itself up here. So what we can do is say, we know the song has started, so the music has definitely started playing. So we can check if not the music dot is playing so if the music is not playing anymore that means hey the song must have ended and then we'll activate our screen but we also don't want this to keep happening over and over again we don't want our results to keep being called up every single time because if we just did this at with this variable or with this um query we would have whatever we put inside our brackets next coming up the whole time and we don't want that happening so instead we're just going to add on to this if the music is not playing and the results screen that we just created dot active in hierarchy so is the results screen active in hierarchy well we want to say if it's not active so if it's not already active and the music is finished playing then what we're going to do is first of all activate the music or sorry actually activate, activate the results screen so results screen dot set active true like so and then we're going to start filling in some of our details so some of the easy ones to fill in are just our normal hits and our good hits because we know that those are just these values here so we can start by saying normals text dot text equals we just put an empty string first to make sure that everything here is a string and we'll just say normal hits. So that's our normal hits amount. We'll have our goods text dot text equals, and let's do this one slightly differently. We'll say this will be good hits. Instead of putting the string at the start, what we can do is say good hits and convert it to a string. 
like so. So this is just another option for how to display a value as a string in Unity. So we'll do the same for our perfect hits. Perfect text dot text equals perfect hits dot to string. It doesn't really matter which methodology you use for this stuff. But finally we'll have message text dot text and we'll just use the other method again just for fun. And uh, Mrs. Text dot text equals miss hits missed hits like so. Okay, so that'll work fine. Um we could jump back into Unity and test this now, but we kinda of have to play through the whole song, so we we shouldn't encounter any problems with this stuff. But if we do, we'll test it out once we have it all in place. Okay. So the next thing we want to do is work out what percentage of hits we actually got. So how we'll do that is, we know we have the amount of total notes that exist. So say we have 60 at the moment. We know how many normal, good and perfect hits we get. So what we can do is add up all of these. So say we got 30 normal hits, 20 good hits and 5 perfect hits. We'll add them up so that would be 55. And we'll get 55 as a percentage of 60, which is the total notes. And we're going to put the, print that out to our percent hit uh, text label. So to work that out we're going to say we're going to create a new float here that we'll call the total hit. So that will be our amount of total uh, notes that we hit which will just be our normal hits plus our good hits plus our perfect hits. And obviously we want to ignore the missed hits because they're not really going to be uh, relevant here. Then we're going to work out what percentage that is. So float percent hit equals total hit divided by total notes. So this is just your normal formula for calculating percentages which is divide the amount by the whole amount and then multiply that by 100. And that's how we'll get our percentage amount. Now obviously that could be a huge, not a huge number but a huge amount of spots after the decimal point. I heard you meant a number of digits after the decimal point. So we don't want to have that be a full big long thing we read out on the screen. We want that to be only shown to one decimal place, say, on our percent hit text. So to do that, what we'll say is on our percent hit text dot text, we're going to be setting that to be equal to the percent hit amount that we just made. Percent hit. We're going to convert that to a string. And rather than just leaving it at two string like that, what we're going to put in the middle here is F1, like this. And what that does, that's a shortcut built into Unity to say, show this as a float value with one decimal place. It's a really handy little um, coding trick to just easily show one decimal place worth of elements. Okay, so then we're finally going to add on at the end of that a little percentage symbol so that we know hey this is a percentage amount okay so the next thing to do is calculate the rank but now that we have all this little stuff in place let's test this much out because we've got we know we can easily track our notes but calculating this percentage is a little bit different so let's go ahead and do that in our game so I'm just going to deactivate the results screen like so uh, just double check all our things are filled in on our game manager yes they are so let's then play through our little session of music here. And once we get to the end, we should get our nice little results screen. Uh, I'll miss a couple of notes on purpose just to make sure that we're getting a good percentage going. And there's a few more. This is definitely me doing it on purpose. This isn't, <laughs> this isn't me playing badly. Uh, let's make sure I have that excuse in place for our game. Um, and obviously, if you're making this game, you can make the notes go faster, you can add more in, you can add less in, you can add different combos of different directions at the same time. So now we're waiting for the song to end. There we go, we get to the end, our result screen shows up. So that's how many different numbers we got. Actually, let's make this uh, bigger so we can see what's going on better. So we've got our numbers, we've got our percentage hit. As you can see, it only showed one decimal place, which is perfect. That's exactly what we want. And now we can continue on to doing our rank and our final score. So how are we going to calculate our rank? Well, all we have to do is, back in our script here, we're going to say, by default, 
actually, you know, what we're going to do is create a string that we're going to call rank value. And we're going to set that to be, oh, that should be a small a, rank value equals, by default, we're going to set it to be f. So if you're getting a low, low score, you're getting an f. Then we're going to do some calculations. So we're going to say if our percent hit, so that's the value we correct, calculated up here, is greater than 40%, then we're going to say our rank value will be equal to a D. And this is the this is the system we use for grading over here in Ireland. But if you have a different percentage values associated with letters, it, it's all up to you what you kind of put in here for the value thresholds. But anything above 40 is a D. We can also then check if we're above 40, but also we're above 55. Then we'll say rank value equals C. But if we're above 55, we'll continue going higher and higher. So we'll say if our percent hit is greater than 70, we'll put it at, oh, that should be a curly bracket first before I do anything. Rank value equals a B. We'll check if we're above 85. So if percent hit is greater than 85, then our rank will be equal to an A. And if you do really good, if your percent hit is above 95, then your rank value will be equal to S because you're a superstar of musical magicalness. And then all we have to do with that is below our opening if statement there, we'll just say set the rank text dot text to be equal to whatever the rank value is, oh, whatever the rank value is that we have set here. So our rank text, if we did really good, will be S or it could be any of the other letters along the way. And then finally, we'll show our final score using final score text dot text equals our current score dot to string. And there we go. That should be everything we need to show our results screen to our players. So let's test it out back in Unity. Let it compile for a second and we'll run through playing the game once more. Let's go here. Let's see how well we can do. I'm not getting too many perfect hits, that'd be nice. So how we've calculated the score or the rank is based on how many notes we hit, but you could equally calculate that score that rank based on how much score the player gets. So you'd need to work out what kind of score thresholds you would want to set up, what would cut what would qualify as a really good high score. For example, if someone got all perfects or something like that. Uh, but that's up to you if you would like to do that. We're we're sticking with the percentage of notes hit. Well, there we go, I managed to get an S. And you can see our final score, we've got all our notes showing up and we've got our percentage hit showing up nicely. So there you go, that's our rhythm tutorial series finished and we'll be coming back with more tutorials very soon. I know things on the channel have been a bit quieter lately, uh, but we're getting back into action, we're ramping up for more tutorial goodness in the very near future. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all very soon.